Hello, welcome. We've got a problem here. Why don't you take a moment and read through it, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, we're, we're told that there's an equation that's modeling a, uh, the population of, of uh, a fish, fish that live in a 600-gallon aquarium, and they grow according to this logistical curve. And that is just a curve that starts, you know, it has an exponential shape to it, but kind of flattens off, right? The population grows, 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 and then it just kind of runs out of food or room and kind of flattens off at a certain point. And here uh, is the equation that we're working with. They want to know what the initial population is. So let's do that. P of zero at zero time. We have 66 over one plus 32 times E to essentially zero. And that's 66 over 33, right? 32 times one is 32 plus one is 33 and that's two. So there were two fish at the beginning. The next two, let's put those together on a graph. Uh, we could just plug in 10 here, find P of 10 and see what that gets. But I want to graph it to answer question three, which is to see where the, what, at what number the population kind of tapers off. So let's go to our calculator. So we can do these both things at once, essentially. 66 divided by, get those parentheses in there, 1 plus 32, and then e to the power of negative 0 0.78445 and x. Does that look good? Double check it. OK, it looks good. Go to our graph. All right, we need to kind of go to our zoom. And let's start with the zoom standard and see if that helps us. We're getting somewhere, but it's, we have to go higher on the axis. So the y-axis, let's go to our window. Let's set our y max equal to, I don't know, 100. See if that gives us something. And graph it. Yep, we can start to see it's tapering off. It's flattening out. Let's get our x-axis up as well. Let's go to 100. Go to our graph. Now you can see that distinct shape. If we want to know where the output is at 10, I'm just going to press second trace and go to value and intersect. Um, in <laughs> input 10 and you can see right there it says at the bottom of the graph 65.183 to the nearest thousand 65.183 and the value is flattening off at looks to be in the 60s if we go to our second table here I'm at a different value I'm really far ahead in 4500 and you can see I'm definitely at 66 right so to get there what I did was press second and then window, oh no, second table set, oh boy. And here, you, you know, you can set your table start to anything at zero. I would go up by increments larger than one, something simple, maybe 10, to see if you can find a behavior. And at first, it might not seem like it's going anywhere, but you can see right away that's approaching 66. All right, hope that helps.